Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today, we're back for another round of the summoning adventure. Now, you may have seen the previous episode with Brimstone Elemental, a pretty scary hellish waifu that we fought for an entire episode. And unfortunately, in that episode, by the end, we were not able to take her down. Well, I think in today's episode, that is all going to change because immediately after posting the video, you all let me know that throughout the video, I was fighting an enraged version of the boss because instead of doing it in the proper biome, which I should have just known, uh, I fought it slightly to the left. So as we go into today's episode, I feel like the tides are going to turn and we're just going to smash it, maybe even on the first try because I did a little bit of preparation all right, call me eager, uh, but I basically just cleared out the roof and also the bottom part of this little area here, which is called something like the Brimstone Crag, uh, which is a, a strange name. I don't know what crag means. <laughs> is it like, is it something to do with the, the biome? What is a crag? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like I need a, a comment implant basically just kind of hardwired into my brain because you lot give the most obvious answers that I seem to just not know. Like I should have just realized it was enraged, but nah, my smooth brain carried a whole episode with the wrong version of the boss. But I'm actually pretty proud because we did, uh, we did pretty well overall. If I go into today's episode and it's not enraged, I'm gonna be fuming. All right, so let's charge up our weapon since uh, it's running out of its Duracell batteries. One thing I will say is that if you enjoyed today's episode and you may be new around here, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. Join the, the couch gang. I don't say that nearly often enough, but it's going to be my New Year's resolution to, to say it a little bit more. Uh, so I, I think we just go into this then. Like, why, why bother with the messing around? Why bother with the setup? This is pretty much all we need to do. Actually, <laughs> let's, let's not do that. I forgot one vital thing and it's called my summons. Uh, I am playing as a summoner, so it should have been top priority, but there we go. Okay, let's let's teleport there again. I really like these teleportations. It's kind of nice being lazy, I won't lie. It, it feels good. So today, I'm feeling absolutely amazing, right? I, uh, I went to bed at a nice normal time. I never ended up, like, napping through the day, uh, even though I woke up at, like, 5 in the morning yesterday. Uh, I stayed up all day. I felt good, even when I went to bed. And then today, I woke up at 9 a.m. So I'm feeling very refreshed. It feels very good. You know, I don't feel like the... It's gonna stop me being a smooth brain. But at least we know that I am doing better. Wow, I really am a smooth brain, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Forget about that. What did I forget? I forgot the spawner to the actual boss itself. All right? <laughs> okay. Okay, right. What do we need? A charred idol. All right, we can make two of them. We've got two attempts. I can't believe this. Thank you very much. Let's go fight the boss. All right, that was just an elaborate setup, right? I am actually alert and ready to go. It was just a test. I wanted to see your, your patience. Oh, man, 2021. Five days in and it's, it's already gone a bit downhill, to be completely honest. Um, so I was in a lockdown anyway, in my city of, of England. But now we've got a, a full lockdown, which is like even worse. And it lasts until, um, it lasts until my birthday, which is February the 16th, if anybody wants to say happy birthday. Because I'll be inside. I'll just be here at my computer. It's all right. I never would have predicted that in 2021, I would have a lockdown birthday. It actually blows my mind. One big trend I'm seeing so much, by the way, is people going back to the early episodes from 2020 and just being like, you poor naive boy. But it's it's every single day I'm getting comments about it. It's so mad. I didn't, ex I, like, I expected a few people. I did, I expected a few people. Especially throughout 2020, like we knew what was going down. But it's like, even now, like, I look today and there's four comments in a row from various different people on old videos being like, oh, he had no idea. And it's me talking about, um, me in 2019 going, I think 2020 is going to be amazing. Stuff like that. And then it's like, me in March going, yeah, uh, apparently we might have to stay inside for two weeks. You know, that won't be too bad. <laughs> Here we are. How was I to know? I was an innocent lad. 
All right, so this is the, I would say this is the warm up for today. I'm obviously like just kind of uh, vibing out to this boss fight. Uh, I'm not really, uh, you know, doing it the best. Oh, so there was actually some debate, by the way, in the comments about the Rod of Discord. A lot of people are saying, by the way, that I can assign the Rod of Discord to a button so that I can uh, quickly teleport. I do know about this, but that is actually an upgrade that you get a little bit later. I think it's called the Normality Relocator, something like that. It's really nifty. It's, it's good to have. Um, but yeah, people are debating. They're like, well, on the, Wiki on the Wikipedia page, it says that if you hold a tool, then tools don't negate the damage. But the thing is, um, the Rod of Discord is kind of a tool, but is it kind of not a tool? It's it's hard. I didn't expect to for it to be debatable. I kind of assumed that Calamity fans would just be like, nah, James, this is how it goes. All right, I'm just going to be honest with you. I think I was fighting the enraged version. Uh, this is completely different. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. So I wonder if we could have done it first try, um, you know, yesterday without doing all the, the prep for the arena. Once again, my, my feeling with the arena is, well, if we do all the prep, then um, then when we go to the Chicken Balls, Providence, in uh, in hard mode, or, sorry, post Moon Lord, it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, so this felt honestly like really worthwhile doing. It felt like I, I was kind of knocking something off the list early. Well, there we go. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. When Elon Musk comes out with that commented chip that can go into my head, we'll go for it. Right. So the thing with defeating a Brimstone Elemental is that we now have access to a new type of ore. And this type of ore is able to be mined uh, with an Adamantite pickaxe, but you need to have defeated the boss to, uh, to grab it. It is called Chardor, and I'm grabbing it right now before we read out all the other stuff. I don't have a Spelunker potion, so I can't really see it, but I know that it grows in here, so there's probably a lot of it underneath. I probably should have closed my curtains. The, the screen is very bright. That's something I, I never learned from. Like, I feel like I can't see anything. All right, so I've closed the curtains, and, uh, and we're slightly off to the side, and it seems like this area has a fair bit more Chardor. Thank you very much. Um, so I can't exactly remember what this is used for. I imagine it's probably for the next set of armor. Since we've had this armor now for um, a good couple of episodes, we're probably due an upgrade. Uh, but I can never remember the name of Calamity Armors. But the good thing is, is because uh, the, the post-game, post-Moonlord armor often uses like a bunch of different armors uh, combined together. I usually just make all the upgrades anyway. So I never really miss one. All right, we've, we've got some charred ore. We've got the victory under under our belt. This is an amazing episode. All right, <laughs> let's let's open. So what do we get? We got the brim lance. Ooh, it's a spear. Why would you use spears at this point in the game? Like for real? What's the? Who's using this over demonic death lasers? Uh, we got the seething discharge. See, this is a, a pretty sick weapon. We got the charred relic equipable. Contains a small amount of brimstone. All right, is it a light source? Oh, no, it's a pet. Well, that beats out Danny DeVito. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> Look at the way his arms move. Oh, my God. I like that he even does a, a ballet dance. Look. Like, it's like a swan dive. Sorry, not a ballet dance. A dive. Um, Yeah, this looks more thematic. We got the Abaddon. This is a, a pretty good little item because I'm fairly certain this actually combines into something else. Yeah, it goes into the uh, Asgard's Valor. And I've had series in the past where I've had to um, to actually like farm for this. Uh, but I don't think we can make that until after um, Plantera. So let's go have a look at this uh, Charred Ore then, right? That's that's what we need to learn about, Charred Ore. Actually, I could do that just here. Why do I need to go home? I can pull up this, this little nifty menu. So it makes Unholy Cause using the ore and the uh, and the charred ore, the hellstone ore, sorry. An ancient altar can be placed to use for special crafting. It makes uh, an ancient basin, all right? Uh, and it also makes an ancient monolith. All right, so the unholy cores make brim flame armor. Ooh, do they make any, um, any summoning things? That is mage, mage, um, that's rogue. So this is what it makes. It makes the uh, igneous ex ex <laughs> extillation exaltation 
<laughs> reading is not my strong point, all right? If reading was my strong point, we wouldn't have been fighting an enraged version of, uh, of the boss yesterday. All right, so let's... um. Oh, no, I wanted to read that. Brimstone Crack. Ah, this place. The scent of broken promises, pain, and eventual death is heavy in the air. All right. Um, I guess we're not reading it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, all right. Let's 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 make the um the things that we need to make then. So what was it called again? It was the um cause or something like that. The unholy cause. Core. 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 All right. Unholy cause. All right. Let's make as many as possible. So we've got forty-four. And then the armor was the brim uh, something, right? Is that right? It's the the brim flame robes. Uh, but you need uh, you need other ingredients. You need ashes of calamity. Oh right. Oh so is this um is this post calamity then? Oh right. Okay. Let's have a little look. Oh it is. Look, you have to defeat calamitous next. Oh right. Oh my god. I, I honestly I've completely forgot about where that was placed. All right, Eye of Desolation. Let's have a little look at this. So this is why we farm for the blighted lenses at the start of hard mode. I'm fairly right because every episode usually something ends up on the the cutting room floor. You know, not everything gets into uh, into an episode. But I am fairly certain I left in the part about farming for these. Going, look, we're going to need these at some point. All right, let's. Can we can we just make the eye now? Then I think we can. Yeah, the Eye of Desolation. Summons calamitous, non-consumable. I was really hoping it would be non-consumable with that recipe. All right. Um, so the trick with uh, with this boss is to have like a nice long platform, uh, as long as you can make it. Now we obviously don't have that, not in this world at least. So we're gonna make do. We're gonna go for budget uh, calamitous fight just to just to see what it's like. Oh, but this is cool. I uh, I wasn't expecting this this curveball to be thrown my way. I I thought we'd just be, you know, making new upgrades today. See, the thing is, as well, we could now make, um, we could make the, the new igneous, whatever it's called, that new weapon, uh, and maybe check it out, but I have a gut feeling that this would be a much better weapon for it, uh, because it has such a, a good range to it. And this is one of those fights where you don't necessarily want to get super close, but if I remember right, I think it's like only a certain point is where you need to start flying away. It's hard. Honestly, I've got so much jumbled calamity knowledge in my head. <laughs> I really struggle to remember it all. Okay, right. So. So, so, so. Um, this has to be fought at night. Hmm. Okay, let's let's make the weapon first. Let's go for that. Let's make the weapon. And then we'll, um, we'll try it out. And if it is better, we'll use it. So it's called the Igneous. Um, I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> All right, four, sorry, 60 summoning damage summons an orbiting blade. Right click to launch all blades towards the cursor. Okay, so let's spawn in a bunch of these. Oh my god, wow. So what happens once they're launched? I have to summon them back in? Nah, I'm all right for that. <laughs> that seems like so much effort. I don't know about that. I'm like... I'm a, I'm a pretty lazy player. I don't think I can multitask that well. Okay. So, let's buff up again. Let's uh, get this buff as well. Let's get a bunch of these uh, cannons spawned in. And let's just go for it. Alright, and we'll see what happens. Where's probably the best place to start? Honestly, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare either way. So, we'll get a feel for it and then we'll go from there. Alright, so here it is. Here is Calamitous. It's not the real Calamitous, Supreme Calamitous comes later. But if I remember right, when we first ever fought this, there, there was no Supreme Calamitous back in the day. This was uh, this was just it. Which is really weird to, to think about. But I'll always remember Calamitous from the first season. It's a pretty iconic boss. It's also a boss that's changed a lot over the years. But I think now, for me, that the part that sticks out the most is those splitting lasers. The ones that split into two. Now, if, is this the one where the brothers come in? Yeah, it is. All right. So you got the, the brothers to contend with, and then they'll spawn in at multiple to uh, multiple points throughout the fight. So yeah, I'm just kind of going for the um, just moving to the left maneuver. It's a very famous maneuver. Okay, so the only problem with this is we don't really get to see uh, the damage that we're doing uh, to, the, to this one specifically. Okay, come on. 
Oh, there you go. It's defeated. So it's basically a case of like, you defeat um, a big chunk of this, and then you fight a brother, and then you have a little bit of time off, and then you fight another brother again. It's that. All right. Here's our adrenaline again. I'm honestly surprised this is going the way it is. I feel like this is going to be one of those ones where it's like, hey, well done, but you didn't do this. Do you know what I mean? Or like, it's just really easy at the start. I'm trying to think, there was one series where this fight was an absolute nuisance. It might have been, I don't want to say modded yo-yo, but it might have been, um, oh Christ, what would it might have been? Would it have been Rogue? When we did Rogue, like two years ago? Oh my God. All right, impressive child, most impressive. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> God, these lasers are so good. These lasers are real good. I absolutely love this weapon so much. Because even when it's, like, firing at the centerpiece, like, it's doing so much little damage to, um, so much little. <laughs> Alright, James. <laughs> it's still doing a lot of damage to the, the other pieces. Okay, so I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't really got a, a plan for the movement with this one. We're just kind of moving uh, and just kind of getting a vibe for, for how it's moving, I guess. I wonder if maybe um, the knives would have been a, a better thing for, uh, for this phase. I don't know. Hard to say. So do we have another brother to fight, or is this going to be it? Oh god, Christ. Alright, let's hold the weapon out at least. <laughs> Come on, did anybody expect this fight to go the way it's gone? I want to... Oh god, right, there is another brother. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, I think this is the bit where it becomes a bit of a nightmare. See, the thing is, I want to... Oh god. I want to have the, um, the, the the more damage from the weapon, but I also want to have the Rod of Discord out so that I can get a nice, easy teleport in. Okay, I'm just keeping my distance. Just vibing to the fight. I could probably do a teleport. Oh, there you go. And I can, I can do adrenaline now. Oh, that was a really rough time to move away. I lost pretty much all my adrenaline. No. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. So much free damage lost. All right, let's see. So this should be... Come on. Destroyed. Oh, Christ. Don't die here. All right, this should be the, the final part of the fight now. Um, come on, Calamitous. <laughs> and there we go. The Calamitous uh, clone has been defeated. The ocean depths are trembling. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Honestly, I, I didn't think today's episode would be this. I thought it'd be like, oh, we just, you know, do the boss, make a little upgrade, you know, talk about the future. Nah, we're a new person now. Okay, <laughs> Calamitous Doppelganger treasure back. Thank you. So we got the Oblivion, really sick modded yo-yo. We got the Void of the Calamity, equipable, cursed. Uh, this is something that you just don't want to use at this point. We got the Lashes of Chaos, very cool. Uh, we got the Animosity, which is a ranged weapon. I don't have any things to, to make it fire. You're indeed stronger than I thought, though the Blood Inferno still lingers, observing your progress. Favorite this item to gain a boost to your minion slots, but at the cost of reduced max health. Wow. So how many how many extra minions do you get for that? Oh, so you get two. You get two and you get a lot less health. That is actually pretty interesting. I would say almost that is a fair trade, especially if you're using something as powerful as this. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so let's put in the uh, the Ashes of Calamity. Well, actually, before that, what we'll do is we'll slap those bad boys in there and we'll have a little look. Does it make a, a summoning weapon? No, uh, no, no, no. Um, okay. And the Sigil of Calamitous, which is something that you make as a mage. Very iconic piece of equipment. All right, well, let's, um, let's bang all this in here. Um, we will keep the extra summon thing for now. Maybe we'll swap it out. Maybe if you lot are like, nah, it's awful. Don't do it. <laughs> then we'll not. All right. So let's make the Brimlash upgrade. Um, oh, the only thing I need is the, uh, the Obsidian Rose. Now, can I make an Obsidian Rose? Obsidian Rose is made with, uh, one Jungle Rose, uh, 10 Hellstone and some Obsidian. All right. Let's, let's go grab that real quick. That should actually be fairly easy because... If I do this... Alright, I am dying a little bit of, of lava. And I'll grab all that. Alright, cool. Alright, so in today's episode, obviously, as you can tell, 
because it's been a very uh, boss-themed episode, haven't really been able to just, you know, chat about life or whatever. I'll save that for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have a nice little chat about life. We'll get we'll get caught up. To be fair, there isn't too much going on in my life. <laughs> Not at the minute, at least. January's a, a, a very boring month normally. I could... I get... I... <laughs> okay, right. James, relax. I, I, I can often slip into the routine, though, of... Um, of just talking about making videos. So, I don't want to do that. Okay, because that is life. Um, so, we obviously don't have enough to, to make the upgrade, which is a bit of a shame, to be honest. I didn't expect to have to fight it twice, but let's just do it. Let me just quickly refight it. Let me get rid of that. Let me spawn all these back in, because why not? This should be all right. All right, so coming to the end of the fight, bam. That one was, was a lot harder. I missed out on my, um, my like, adrenaline just at the very end twice during the final phase. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, so we got the Chaos Stone. One of the ancient relics increases maximum mana by 50. All right. Um, neat. Okay, cool. So we can just make the, uh, the upgrade then. So let's slap all... Uh, this in here. Let's get rid of it all. Okay, so Brim Flame. Uh, so we'll make the robes first. Christ, is it really this expensive? Why is it this expensive? Do you get these from, um, I'm wondering maybe, do you just start getting these from elsewhere after you've done the fight once? I imagine so, because this seems a little bit odd. Oh, wait. Oh, is this a mage armor? I think it might be. I didn't even realize. I just assumed, I, I don't know why, but I was just like, oh, it'll probably have um, other helmets and stuff. Unless it isn't. If you lot know um, anything different, let me know. All right. Well, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll end it there for today. That was still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed today's episode, even though it was a bit different. Uh, like I said at the start, if you enjoyed today's episode, give it a big fat thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you are new. Um, thank you to our channel members, as always. Uh, your names are rolling by on screen. You don't like the way I say that. Rolling by. Yeah, it feels appropriate. All right, have a fantastic day, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Wait, actually, what is tomorrow? Plantera. Ooh, I love Plantera. The great sun shark. All right.